time. Everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. If you guys don't know who I am, I am a senior at CFC and I study arts management. I'm gonna be showing you just a really busy kind of 24 hours in my life at CFC. If you've never been to my channel before, I made a bunch of videos of my study abroad experience last year in Scotland. So please make sure to go check out the rest of my channel if that's something that you're interested in. I also talk a lot about gap years and that kind of thing. Starting off my week, I had a group project meeting for one of my classes. We are talking in depth about copyright law and like terms of fair use. It's honestly a really interesting class where we get to discuss real issues in the entertainment industry. This is me in a group project meeting. We, our, our project is on the rapper Biz Markey and his land mark case in the 1990s and it's just basically all about like copyright cases it's a super interesting class it really applies to like a lot of the copyright stuff we're seeing today i know in the news recently it's been stuff with like taylor swift's shake it off and dua lipa and her levitating song so i definitely have been really enjoying the subject matter of that class. But later that same morning, I did some work for my poetry workshop. I was initially a bit stressed about this class, but it's been a really nice little break in my day from my like actual more like business classes for the arts. So I really enjoy getting to create a little bit and react to other people's poems and read poems. And it just slows down my day a little bit and allows me to be creative. I am a creative writing minor. And you know, I think a lot of times people can see having something in the arts during college as Maybe something that's not super useful, but I actually would say that it helps you develop your creativity, which is never a bad thing. And honestly, it helps you get really good at taking criticism. When somebody criticizes something that you have been working on and you poured your heart and soul into, like it is really a good way to develop a thick skin and get better, you know, because that's, that's the goal. Also to have fun, that's, that's always the goal. So yeah, this morning instead of class, I had that Zoom meeting. Now I am just getting ready for my afternoon in-person class. And it's been really nice to be back in class this semester. However, I will say my attention span and width to listen to all these lectures has decreased after online school and being away on a gap year. Listening to all these lectures in a week is really mentally exhausting. So taking moments where I can like get dressed nice for class and clean my room, uh, it just gives me nice little mental breaks throughout the day because I am just one human being. <laughs> I headed to a coffee shop to get some writing done and I find that I, if I really need to focus going to a cafe really zones in my attention so I went to Kudu Coffee which is a CFC staple a really nice view of King Street it's like church. Later that night, I decided to take a little break from the Hectic Week and go see a play. My professors keep talking about how you really need to stay connected to arts as a manager in order to think about it with perspective. So I thought this would be like a fun little break where I could develop my mind and also just have a little fun because I like going to see plays. So I went to go see the play that goes wrong at Dock Street Theater and student tickets are just $10 if you go to the box office before the show. I'd never done this before, but it was a really great way to see theater for cheap in Charleston. I know most of the tickets go for like, I don't even know, like a, at least over $50. And I sat in the third row orchestra right in the middle. It was really great. And then the next day I was just working on my side project of YouTube. So you can see here that I'm editing my thumbnail and video for the week. This process honestly takes a lot longer than you would think. And it's really like having a part-time job, but super rewarding. It's me to be creative, which is something that I love. So yeah.
Lipstick's cold, the bus stops freezing We started walking for no reason The weather didn't call for rain tonight Nothing's gone, it's not forgotten You say this doesn't happen often But I can tell that something's on your mind Twisted round your finger, round my letters. Can't seem to keep my promises to you. I'll get back to myself. I hope the staircase works out. It might be like a little echoey right in here. I don't know. But I wanted to pop on here just sort of at the end of this video and say thank you because I just hit 4,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And if you clicked on this video because you're like a prospective C of C student, hey, that's really cool. Welcome. I wanted to just like say a little thing. I posted a little uh, thing on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on there, honestly, it's underwhelming following me on Instagram. Like... <laughs> I never post anything. I, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you because it just like haven't really reflected and it was really weird because the day I hit 4,000 subscribers was, I got an icon like from my YouTube and it said, oh, you started your channel this day two years ago, which is just kind of like a, a very uh, funny coincidence. In the past two years, I think I have like grown so much from doing YouTube and like I, my channel isn't like, like in the, traditional sense like successful in the way of like I don't have you know like thousands of subscribers well now I have like 4,000 so I guess I do have like thousands but like you know what I mean it's we're not huge I'm not like I'm not like rolling dough from this <laughs> um to put it lightly but just still really cool and uh I've like made friends through this channel and I've gained so much like just joy from like reading your comments and reading your messages to me and really starting a YouTube channel like it feels like building an online community and it's just really cool so but yeah I filmed my first video in an empty parking garage and I would literally panic every single time a car went by there was nobody in this parking garage I was so panicked about it so just goes to show you that if you guys have something that you want to do but you're like too scared that people will judge you for it uh you know honestly like once you get over that hump you just start to realize like those people who are going to judge you for doing that thing were never really your friends to begin with and those people in two years will not matter not to say that nobody anybody in my life was like that's embarrassing so it just goes to show you like <laughs> people will you know the right people will support you and be kind and if people are being rude try to avoid hearing about that because that won't help you get where you're going so who cares <laughs> yeah if two years ago i had listened to those negative voices in my head being like people are gonna be mean to you people are gonna be well i did listen to those voices but in s i chose to act against them against their wishes um so <laughs> Yeah, do that. It will it will serve you well. Thanks for watching.